talking about Operation Fernbridge just now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, I need to explain this to the, to, the, to the listeners because this is really important. Now, in 2014, like I said, I've been watching a lot of Bill Maloney videos and him having a go at different politicians, and I thought this guy was real. He was a real anti-child abuse campaigner. And because of what the situation with the old manager, I've been brewing on it for a while, and obviously this is what has led me into watching Bill Maloney's videos. In the end, I think I'm going to contact this guy because he's running around with a camcorder, and uh, I've got three Canon 5D Mark IIs, and I can set him up a lovely set up when he films his when he when he films his victims and stuff because you know you, this is this is real stuff I, I was believing and and uh and this needs to be done in a really good quality way instead of just on a camcorder um so i contacted him and i also told him that when i lived in wolverhamstow in another part of wolverhamstow before i'm in the house that i'm in now um i think that one of sydney cook's gang was living next door to me because I bumped, I bumped into one of my neighbours from from that little close. Is that Jason Jason Swift. Jason, uh, Swift. yeah, yeah, Jason, the murder of Jason Swift, and um, so I bumped into uh, a woman called Beverly who used to live on the same little close uh, where this guy lived right next door to me, and um, when I was a kid, I can remember this weird skinny geezer leaning out the window with a camera, but. There was a field over the back of the new development where we lived, and and I thought, well, maybe he's just taking pictures of that. There was a low flying kestrel, and you know, you're a kid. I didn't know what a paedophile was. You know, I had no idea, no idea whatsoever. And um, and I thought of this so after I spoke to this woman Beverly, and she said, yeah, we moved from there because of that thing that was living next door to you. And I remember saying to her, yeah, what what was his name? Was his name Rick or something? And she goes, I can't remember his name, but he was saying to do with the killing of that Jason Swift. So when I got home, I Googled it, and I thought, oh, mate, I've had one of Sidney Cook's gang living next door to me and didn't know it. This geezer was taking pictures when I was younger and that. There was a few of us little kids there. And um, so obviously, when, when I've gone to contact Bill Maloney, I've put this in the email, and I think this may be one of the things that tipped it over the edge, and he contacted me straight back.